Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. And today we are testing out the Be Cool E-Bikes Adventurer. This is a dual suspension, pretty awesome on and off-road e-bike from Be Cool Bikes. In this video, you are gonna get my complete review after testing this bike out for several weeks. Let's jump right in. Let's first start and talk about the design of this thing. This huge four inch tires on this awesome looking, I love the dark green, really reminds me of the Aventon Avenger that I reviewed several weeks back. This thing looks incredible. Now on the right handlebar, you're gonna have the rear brake along with a half twist throttle here. So with the red button out, the throttle will be inoperative for safety reasons, I guess. Um, and then you also have your shifter there, which goes up to seven gears in the rear. Then you have this nice display here, which shows all the information that you would be looking for. And you have five levels of pedal assist mode. You can see in the bottom left where it shifts uh, up to five. Now you also have a headlight and a tail light on this, which I'll show you in a minute. Also a horn and turn signals. So many safety features were added on this thing that I truly love and I wish more e-bike manufacturers would prioritize safety. So you have a super bright LED headlight along with LED tail lights as well. And here's a glimpse of the turn signal. So really something in terms of safety that where it makes you more visible as a rider if you're on the road. Something else that I really liked about this design is this huge battery pack that's mounted to the frame here. You can see that it has a locking key that you can actually remove this and take it inside somewhere to recharge. This battery system is rated for 45 miles on pure electric mode. And I actually got a chance to test this from a full charge and I'm about 200 pounds and my test track was not flat. So preface this with that, I'm 200 pounds, it was not flat, and I was able to get about 32 miles just using the throttle, not pedaling at all. So I still think that is a really good range for this e-bike, just pure throttle, 32 miles. And that's really impressive because this thing's 78 pounds. It has a huge 750 watt motor in the rear. So that's drawing a lot of power and it's able to propel this 32 miles, which I think is really impressive. Now, like I said, this is a dual suspension bike. So this ride is so comfortable. There you see the front fork here and the rear fork, but then also on the seat, you have little tiny rubber, almost like grommets on the seat with a super cushiony seat there. So really, really comfortable. My only complaint would be that I bottomed out the front fork, as you'll see here in this video, a couple times going over, I would say pretty aggressive terrain with a lot of roots. So I did bottom out that fork and that I think is because the front fork is cheaper. I would like to see them change this in the future, but that is my one complaint about this bike. Everything else on here feels really nice and feels really premium. The build quality of all these parts, including the pedals, which some manufacturers skimp and put plastic. These are metal, really solid pedals. So really everything on this bike, my only minor complaint was the front fork. This being a more off-road bike, I definitely wanted to see a more, I guess off-road capable front fork. Now, again, I'm 200 pounds, so if you are lighter or if you're gonna primarily ride this on the road, then you're not gonna have any issues with this thing. Now, taking this off-road, and you can see here on this little trail, it performed beautifully. I was so comfortable because of this, not only front suspension, but also the rear suspension. And this seat is extra large and really, really comfortable. I felt very comfortable too with these extra wide tires. This ground was a little bit wet and here you can see I'm going across a little creek here, but I wanna compare this to my regular, not electric, just a regular mountain bike that I have that is about 20 pounds. Now this thing clocks 78 pounds, so it is a beast. Navigating this on a single track trail is possible, but definitely it's a little bit harder to navigate because it is so beefy and heavy. Now, with that being said, I would love to take this on a you know 50 mile bike ride with this electric motor loaded down with all of my camping gear and go camping somewhere out in the woods. And that's 
possible because of this huge battery on this electric motor and this rear rack where you could strap all of your equipment to. So if you're looking for something to use as a commuter to work, or if you're gonna ride on some pretty aggressive trails, then this would be the e-bike for you. This dual suspension definitely performs beautifully you can see here I'm just in a little sort of grassy area and it feels like I'm on a surfboard. I don't feel any of these bumps. It's super smooth compared to other e-bikes I've tested with just the front fork. So really smooth as a rider here. Now I've taken it, you've seen, on some pretty not aggressive trails. So now we're gonna take it on some more aggressive trails where I had the front fork bottom out a few times going over some pretty large debris and some pretty large roots in the trail. I also wanna say here, riding position for me was very comfortable. I'm about six foot one and this larger frame fit me perfectly, I would say. Again, with that larger very cushiony seat was very comfortable you can see here the trail that i'm going on is a walking trail not really made for bikes you can see it just gobbled up that tree that i went over no problem at all again starting at any sort of a more challenging incline was super easy to do because of this electric motor so compared to a regular mountain bike with no electric motor this thing is so easy to roll over any obstacle, although you see here, I almost stall out going up this really steep incline. And I did notice that it only peaked up to 850, where their website does say this motor does peak up to 1,000 watts, so didn't see that there. But I wanna say that this handles trails beautifully. So if you want a good, solid e-bike to ride on trails, this is probably the one for you. It's so easy to navigate these trails, even with this beefier frame, because of this electric motor. It gives a lot of torque, really at slow speeds, and also when you're traveling, let's say 10 miles an hour. Just a twist of your wrist, you can easily go quickly down the trails. Now with all that speed, they needed to put really decent brakes on here, which you can see I'm able to stop very comfortably in a reasonable amount of time, because this thing's almost 80 pounds, plus another 200 pound rider, so it's almost stopping 300 pounds with those brakes. Very, very impressive. So I wanna say, if you're gonna take this on a lot of off-road, so if primarily you are gonna do a lot of trail riding with this bike, then you're definitely gonna want a dual suspension bike because it's just gonna be way more comfortable. Now, if you wanna get a hardtail e-bike like most e-bikes are, there's plenty of those out there, and I'll leave a link to my e-bike playlist up here in the corner. Now, let's talk about price. This thing retails for $1,700. Yeah, $1,700, which I think is really inexpensive for what you get. 750 watt motor that already has a rear rack, a removable battery, and it has a ton of other safety features that I really like to see on my e-bikes, like the front and rear tail lights. It also has a horn on here, so a lot of great safety features. The bike that this most likely compares to is the Aventon Adventure, which I did do a review of, and that thing is $2,000. But in addition to that, you also have to pay for the rear rack, and it doesn't have a dual suspension, and it has a very small tail light. Now, the only thing that the Be Cool e-bike is missing is it doesn't have app control like the Aventon does. If you're planning on using this Be Cool e-bike off-road, I think that's your best bet because of the dual suspension system. I would love to see Aventon redo the adventure with a dual suspension. Now, as great as this performs off-road, you can imagine that this performs even better when you go onto a paved trail. It is smooth. It is like you are on a surfboard. You almost feel no bumps whatsoever and is so easy to twist the throttle. Now, again, with this seat, these four inch tires, it is so smooth and this 750 watt motor powers you up the hill even with this bigger, beefier frame at 80 pounds. Now, if you plan on taking this just strictly on road to do your commuting, I think it's gonna perform really good as well. So if you would like to have the option to take this off road on the weekends, but primarily you're gonna be using this on road to do your daily commute, let's say, 
then I think this is gonna be a great option for you. I love the added safety features if you're gonna commute really early in the morning or at nighttime, this front headlight and also full rear light system, including turn signals and the built-in horn, adds a ton of safety for you as the rider, which anybody who rides motorcycles or bikes knows cars are the biggest danger to you. So I really like to see companies include as much safety features as possible. So would I purchase or do I recommend this e-bike? I think the answer is yes. If you're looking for a solid e-bike that gets really good miles, I would say on full throttle, again, I tested this out and I got 32 miles. That's insane for this huge frame. If you're looking for something that also has off-road capability, but also very easy to commute with on the road, then this is probably the bike for you. Because this is so similar to the Aventon Adventure, I would also check out my review video I did of that just a couple weeks back. I'll leave a link to that video up here in the corner. All right, there you have it. That is my full review of this pretty amazing dual suspension e-bike. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, make sure you click the link down below in the description. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one.